We're here today with lettering artist Stefan Kunz and we're going to talk about one thing that a lot of photographers don't often think about. Most of the time we're concerned with posing, light, composition, etc. But one thing you might not think about is how your photos will be used by designers. I'm a lettering artist known for putting words into photos. That's where my website name TypoXPhoto comes from. So I'm always on the lookout for photos that allow me to incorporate text into them. No matter what genre of photography you shoot, this is something you might want to consider. For example, as wedding photographers, we always need to be mindful about invites and thank you cards when shooting engagement and couples portraits. Today, we're going to give you some tips to help you create photos that designers and clients want to buy and use. So get in, losers, we're going shooting. To give us the most flexibility, we'll want to shoot with a wide angle lens. This will allow us to crop for various formats, from Instagram stories to YouTube banners to websites. For this example, we'll be shooting with a 35mm on a full frame camera. We also want to capture these photos at the highest resolution, so we'll make sure we're shooting full size raw images. We're going to set up our desk scene to be as minimal as possible. We'll remove any distracting elements so that the lettering will stand out and not compete for the viewer's attention. We also want to imagine where the text will be in our shot. Make sure your dead house plants are out of frame. Since we've removed any interfering props, I can extend the back wall in Photoshop to cover the distracting background. We set the aperture so that our computer monitors and the wall behind it will be in focus. So when we add our lettering on the wall, it will look more natural in the scene. Also consider all the possible formats for which someone may you want to use your photo. Shooting variations of the same scene, for instance both horizontal and vertical, as well as 30 year subjects, can give the most flexibility for graphic designers. Recap. Shoot with a wide-angle lens at the largest possible resolution. Close your aperture to ensure all important elements will be in focus. Keep in mind the various formats for which your photos could be used. Remove distracting elements from your scene. Imagine where a design may be placed in your frame. Shoot variations of the same scene to give designers the most options. Rachel. I'm so happy to be standing here with you today, surrounded by all of our friends. Daniel, we've been together for eight years, through seven different apartments and four different websites, all of which were hosted by Squarespace's easy-to-use all-in-one platform. You're so beautiful, inside and out, just like Squarespace's designer templates. You've always been there for me, day and night, just like Squarespace's award-winning 24-7 customer support. I'm so glad I made my next move with Squarespace, and you. I love you both so much. We think it's always beneficial to have a designer's point of view on photography, and we hope you found this video to be helpful. Be sure to check out Stefan's Instagram and YouTube channel to see more of his work, and we'll see you guys next time.